Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you to Eat to Live Strong. Today is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022, and this is day 20. Yay! I've been consistent, guys. This is day 20 of Multiple Sclerosis, My Daily Diary. And today, I am going to just jump right in. It is raw, uncut footage. And I do not edit it. So you get to get it everything from the heart. It's exactly what goes on in my life while dealing with multiple sclerosis. So let's get started. Today again is Saturday. I had a rough evening last night. I went to physical therapy yesterday. It was fine. But something triggered last night. I don't know what what happened, what triggered the event. But what was about 10, 1030, somewhere around there. I started to get um, dizzy, nauseous. I had um, a sharp pain in my left side. And of course, I've been complaining about the left leg with the pain. So this time the pain was in the side and the, then I went completely numb on both left and right leg. My right leg, it's in and out, in and out, and the right foot I kind of, when I walk, I kind of, my foot kind of goes out like that. It, I don't walk like, you know, front, you know, like that. I don't walk step by step ahead. I walk and this left, the right leg just kind of kick, the foot kicks out. So um, that's why I'm in physical therapy for that, guys. But anyway, I, um, that happened and I, um, Managed to, my husband came and helped me up the stairs because with the breathing thing, it freaked me out. Um, I don't want to be in a situation where my family finds me collapsed on the floor or something of that nature. So whenever I start feeling bad, I always call and tell them, come and get me or come sit with me or whatever. So just to answer you guys' question, no, it's not that stuff that's going on in the world. It is not. This is part of the things that happen with me with multiple sclerosis. The symptoms is getting big. The list is just getting longer and longer and longer and longer because it's the central nervous system. So with that being said, we don't know the triggers. We don't know when it happens. And the thing about it is you've got to know how to explain uh, or write your notes down to keep track to tell your doctors because if you can't explain it, I mean, I found myself not being able to explain something that happened and the only thing I can do is think hard about something that it sounds like or reminds me of because at one point in my neck, if I bend down, it made a noise that sounded like a crunching noise. I couldn't explain it, but it's like either a spring that was like, eh, eh, but I couldn't explain it. So I had to just sit there and visualize what to say. And that was that's one of the hard things about trying to give your symptoms to the doctors. So you have to kind of do like a some type of technique to kind of help you think of it. So, but again, what happened last night lasted about three hours. And it prevented me from calling my little cousin had turned five years old, my, my second cousin. So my, my little, little cousin <laughs> to tell him happy birthday. So his, his, my auntie actually watches my video. So auntie, please tell Mr. Issa, I said, happy birthday. And, um, anyway, so that's how my night ended up doing, going this morning. Like I said, I went to bed about two forty-five, and, um, well, after the three hours, I then went back downstairs to check on Mac and give her water and food and make sure she was fine for the night, turn her music on. Then I came back upstairs and at 2.30, I laid down and I answered some of the comments. So if you guys look at the comments, you can see the timestamp. That's probably right before I went to bed. So I would say I speculate probably about 3.30ish. I went on off to sleep watching 2020 and... um after that, I got up at 6.15 this morning and I got my shower. So I've been showered and had breakfast. So for breakfast, I had the same thing as yesterday, except for this time I had red bell pepper in the um, just egg, the plant-based egg. And I added avocado 
to the meal and then I had um, tomatoes had a cup of tea and I've drank I've taken my medications so I had my vitamin B D um, B D C B D C B D C magnesium and zinc so I took all my, my vitamins and then I took um, my medication so I'm done on that side. So the reason I ask you guys to come dress, get dressed with me is because today I've got to get out of here. I've got to um, go to a, to um, we're taking a customer to see her a house. And um, we're going to, um, so I've got to get dressed to go. <laughs> and I want, what better way to get you guys to see um, what's going on in my life is to get you to come in and get dressed with me. <laughs> Not physically get dressed with me. Get ready with me. <laughs> God, see, that's that that's that noggin, that dome. Um, so anyway, that's why I came out today and that's why I dressed it as get ready with me is because I know I'm going to be really busy and I need to get some stuff done. So what I'm going to do today, other than taking um, the customer out to see the property, I am going to go get some boxes and I'm going to pack the crafting room up because that's going to be easier and then the sunroom and we'll all get the other rooms together i am going to also write a chapter in my book yes i'm going to write a chapter in my book and then i'm just gonna catch up on some things like cleaning out my email i got so many i got so many different emails work personal business all these different emails so i gotta go clean out all those emails and Cause that's the only way I can get my life in order. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So what I'm doing now, guys, is this is some um, oil that my cousin, she does hair restoration. And it's got all kind of ingredients in a grapeseed, rice, um, bran, oh, it's a lot of stuff, hemp, and other all natural ingredients. And she has an Instagram. I'll put it in the, um, the um, description box. She has some demonstrations of somebody's hair that she's done with using this and they've regained their hair back. Also the young lady that was um, in the Live With Me Wednesday, go check it out guys. She has a hair product too that she kind of went through the same thing because our medication, uh, with me medication and my age has something to do, contributed to my hair. Um, you know, me, my hair getting really, really thin. In fact, in some spots, my hair is so thin it looks like it's um, balding. Now from here, you may not be able to see it, and what you're seeing is probably the red, um, the color that's in my hair. But this is it here. And she sells it. My friend, um, my sister friend from Chicago, she's sending me the treatment too. So all you do is put a drop and you just drop it on, you know, the areas. Just, oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells like oregano. And you just drag it the oil in there and then you massage it in to your scalp. And you do this every day. Nice bottle too. But anyway, um, that's what I'm trying to do is get ready for today and so I can run out of here because the appointment kind of happened at the last minute. I really wasn't trying to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and go out and get some boxes so that I can go ahead and get the, um, the crafting room, um, get the crafting room all complete and boxed up. And other than that, that's all I'm going to do. Again, you don't know with MS, you don't know with multiple sclerosis, what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, how long it's going to happen. You just kind of day-to-day thing. So that's why I keep myself active. I keep myself prayed up, but I also make pro, uh, pro, uh, provisioning, uh, provisions. So if something, if I'm here alone, my neighbors will know and they can look out for me. I'm going to miss them too. But um, other than that, guys, I think that's basically it. Um, let me put some of my that's um, Mango Mo. She's on Instagram also. And I'm going to go ahead and lather myself up here. It's really good. Oh, wow. It feels good. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So with that being said, guys, um, thank you so much for being here today. So my, my multiple sclerosis situation was a complete numbness. I lost my ability to walk for three hours. And also my... Um, the pain in my left leg, still the same, as well as um, my right leg being numb. The nauseous, I didn't have the headache, thank God. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Um, numbness and the uh, inability to walk on yesterday evening scared me. So, uh,
Thank you for getting ready with me. So, um, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the um, video today for day 20. I will be back tomorrow on day 21. And I want to also say like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified of all my videos when they're uploaded. And if you can, share me out. Sharing is caring. So after all that's been said and done, I see you next time. Love you long time. Bye now. I have MS, but MS don't have me. I walk the walk, and I am blessed. See you later, guys. Bye.